Hi, welcome along to AFTV. We are here today to talk about the Claude Cup, the inaugural Claude Cup. As you know, Claude was massive on his channel, yeah. um, massive on his own channel as well, just yeah. massive on social media as a mega Arsenal fan. Um, we know that he sadly uh, passed away just over a year ago, wasn't it? Um, and we're doing this cup, number one in his memory, but also to raise money for the Guna Claude Trust. Um, We've got Lily, who's Claude's daughter, here with us. Also, Ty, who was a big friend of Claude, as we know. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, just before we get to you, Lily, let's to tell everybody about the event. It's going to be taking place on Sunday, the 26th of June, at the New River um, Stadium, which is at White Hart Lane um, in North London. I didn't say Tottenham. North London. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, our mission is £6. Um, all proceeds is going to be going to the Guna Claude Trust. And uh, we've got a great lineup. Four teams competing for the cup. Four good teams. Um, SC Dons, um, massive YouTube team. We've got the Wall FC. We've got Hackney Wick. And of course, AFTV oh, FC, who Claude used to be one of the coaches at. Right. So all four of them are going to be competing for the Claude Cup. And Lily, it's a great, great cause. Tell us about, first of all, um, the Guna Claude Trust. What is the Guna Claude Trust? So obviously when Dad passed, a lot of people came to me with a lot of memories. Um, Ty, yourself, uh, uh, you know, Dad was quite popular as we know in a uh, lot of different, even Tottenham fans came to me with memories of, he, he, of seeing he, them he, at away games. He, you, know? you know what, just, just quick story, <laughs> quick, quick interjection, right? Claude used to be the only one amongst us that when we used to go down to Tottenham away, they give him a pass. pass yeah, they yeah. give him a pass. They'd be like, "You're all right, Claude, but you, Robbie, <laughs> Ty, we're gonna kill him." Like Claude, he always got a pass. They loved him. They and loved you know him. what? Because yeah. I've taken some youngsters to the Emirates um, last season, and even like when that child, I've taken a lot of autistic children, and they, they speak the truth, and they've mentioned, "Oh yeah, I'm here with Lily, but she's a Spurs fan," and you know, and, <laughs> and even then, you know, you sit there and you think, "Oh my God!" But the people around you are like, "Oh my God, you're Claude's daughter," you know, and then so the pass has continued, for which I'm very grateful. <laughs> for um so obviously i wanted to do something to continue dad's passion mainly um as i think we can all agree that he was a very passionate football fan and yeah. football in general you know obviously arsenal was his team you know till he died you know he he loved football and i wanted to be able to for people to remember him for his passion and to pass that passion on to particularly to young people because mm. My dad used to say to me a lot, you know, young people are not into sport anymore. You know, he had a big thing, uh, a big problem with technology, uh, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> he didn't get yeah. on with technology. He didn't understand that if you if you spilled a beer over a MacBook Pro, it was not going to work anymore. He spilled a beer <laughs> over my MacBook Pro. <laughs> yeah. Over so, my MacBook Pro. You know, we <laughs> and he got a pass technology. for that because it was cool. Yeah, when, when he lived with us, he went, you know, this is this is the man that put uh, fish in the microwave because for 45 minutes because he didn't see the dash between the four and the five. So, you know, he always used to say, you know, kids should be out there playing sport, yeah. you know, particularly football, obviously, watching sport. You know, going to games was his life. And I think, you know, obviously there's been speculation over how dad died and, you know, it wasn't overall for his mental health but I think his mental health contributed to his his his, his mm. heart disease you know because he lost something that was important to him and yeah, it I remember was that, his it was life. like during lockdown and he you know so I mean he all wasn't he did was eat yeah. and drink because he lost everything around him you know all of that atmosphere yeah. and Unity. that to me obviously we're coming out of lockdowns now there's so many people that have lost so much yeah. and it's just so important to me that we use this as a good opportunity to be able to help other people and support other people that might not um, be able to have those opportunities so yeah. mm. the very first thing that we did last year I set up obviously the trust with some trustees, um, some of that are Tottenham fans, I won't lie. So, you know, we got a good broad thing there. And the first thing we did was I contacted Arsenal because dad obviously had his season ticket ready for when the games restarted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He paid the deposit for the first one and I used the, the, the remaining money from the fund for his funeral to purchase the remainder of his seat in club and the one next to it. So we've got two seats that are owned by the trust and we use them to send people to games. So oh, nice. we, we've we sent, so over the last season, I reckon we also buy tickets where we can get them, but we've mm. sent, I think over 50 youngsters um, this last season, two games at the Emirates. And oh, we've got brilliant. a couple of away games as well, which are obviously hard to get hold of, mm. but mm. we do our best. 
Um, and, and that's ranged from children with disabilities, like I mentioned earlier. Um, ben will be watching when this goes out. So hi, mm. Ben. Uh, ben has had a lot of trouble. He's been out of school for 15 months. You know, he's really been failed by the system and lockdown didn't help. And, mm. you know, he really enjoys football, but he needs the environment a little bit more than club is a better environment. But mm. obviously it's a costly environment. So, yeah. so mm. we've taken people like Ben to games. <clears throat> We've obviously also funded for dads to take their sons or their daughters, mums to take their children to games. We recently arranged with the club to get uh, wheelchair accessible seats for a gentleman that had a stroke last year and is on end of life care. So mm. obviously, as you all know, how the Arsenal membership works, it's not you can't just buy tickets without mm. getting, you know, so that just took all mm. that stress out. We were able to just go, here are two tickets to go. You know, the only thing he wanted to do was see Arsenal play before he passed. So, he, you know, and he got to do that. Mm. And he got to do that in, in good seats as well. So that's brilliant. So that's obviously, and the, the other people that we've helped go have been young carers so young people that are living with uh, children with disabilities, siblings with disabilities or parents with disabilities. So these children don't get the opportunity always to go out and about and do things because they have other responsibilities mm. that children that age wouldn't. So yeah. that's been really nice to do that as well and, and to send the young carers. So that, that was the initial thing just to get it going to, you know, obviously to... I feel like when people go and they sit in, in the in the trust seats that they're going on behalf of dad. D does that make sense? Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, feel like yeah. my dad is there, um, um, you know, and, and obviously some of the messages I get are just beautiful. So mm. that was the first thing we did. The, the next thing we've done is we have sponsored a Edmonton football team with Effective Transition. So they are a company that go into schools and they set up teams for children that come from areas where they haven't got that opportunity usually to, to play sport yeah. usually because of financial difficulties um, you know a lot of schools they don't have the, the funding anymore for these things so we've just sponsored them a kit so we've gone to have the Guna Claude Trust logo on those kits as well and they will be coming on Sunday the youngsters mm -hmm. All right, okay. they are very very excited <laughs> to, mm. to come uh, and good. meet some people and stuff so it'd be lovely to see them in yeah. their shirts and stuff and you know obviously now they've got a nice kit to wear which makes a difference to kids doesn't it so yeah. Yeah. We've also uh, funded some sort of reaching out from sports into, we funded some uh, sessions, uh, a soft play centre for children with autism, like on, on the severe side. So these are children that don't get the opportunity to do sports in mm. a regular environment. Yeah. So these private sessions allow them to build on their motor skills and their social skills, but in a safe environment. So again, you know, funding for those sort of things is mm. very low at the moment. So right. that's the idea. But you've done a lot. Yeah, so I, yeah. I feel like we haven't done what we could have done this year. And it's, it's because I haven't been ready. Does that make sense? So Yeah, you've you know, you had a lot to deal with as well. So I wanted to get it going, but I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> And mm. my social media skills are still very, very low. Um, and I, I'm ultimately, I'm doing it on my own. So, you know, I'm mm. doing my best. But And that's why I'm, I'm grateful, obviously, for, you know, I know we spoke about this last year, mm. about doing the cup, and it just didn't feel, we weren't ready then. And yeah. I feel like now is, is a nice time to sort of bring up those those memories and, and do yeah. something that Dad would have absolutely have loved. He would have so. loved this. So we're, so we're going to be doing it on the, uh, the 26th of June, Sunday the 26th of June as well. If you can't get to the game, what you can do is donate. You've, you've heard Lily just describing all the great things that um, the Guna Claw Trust does. Um, so there's a Just Giving page as well, right? That they can. Uh, it's a GoFundMe. GoFundMe yeah. page. Yeah. And people can just go onto that and just donate. Yeah, and any any donation, you know, even um, unfortunately, I think GoFundMe do do a minimum of five pound. Yeah. But any donation, like you know, five pound, it all adds up. So and it, it does help. Yeah. So anything you can do, you just, you've heard the things she's doing with it. It's absolutely fantastic, and you can imagine like someone like you said, some of those kids getting to go to games. You know, for the probably for the first time first ever. Time for a lot yeah. of them, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So absolutely, it's absolutely yeah. brilliant. And Claude will love the fact that they're up there at Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, he, 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 he'd absolutely love it. Um, you, you must have some great memories of Claude, man. Yeah, great memories. Don't know where to start. We used to argue all the time. Well, get I know that. Coach, get on the coach together. <laughs> travel up together. Sit at the game together. Argue. Come back on the coach and argue. So. Do you know that this season they've done this uh, thing when we t tell Lily about what you guys were doing on the coach well, this last what we, season? What we tried to do is retire his seat. So, for um, last season. So, we brought the picture and put it on his seat. 
oh, and that's try amazing. to keep yeah, it like yeah. that. So and, it's like he's like he's at the yeah, game. Like he's yeah, there, yeah, like he's there in spirit. And yeah. it did work. We we won quite a few games. We'll try. We'll still try. Get yeah, lucky picture. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. I took it off when we had the running, though, you know what I mean? Because all of a sudden we started losing games. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. probably your fault. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's my fault. <laughs> but no, well, Lily, listen, it's, it's, a, it's an absolutely um, amazing cause, right? And like you said, his, his memory lives on. Yeah, with that's these sort of the things. whole thing is that I think he'd have wanted to know. I don't think Dad ever understood the, you know, he used to come home and say, people are asking for my picture, you know, he'd, he'd never, and the amount of people that have said to me, I asked your dad for a picture and he looked at me as if to say, what, me? You know, I don't think he yeah, ever he was, really yeah, he got never, it, you know. Yeah. So I think, I like to think that he, he would be proud that, that people think he'd are, be you know. Very, and, very proud. I and that's, what, very, that's very what it's proud. all about, is coming together and just doing something that, yeah. that can help others. Okay, ultimately. well, listen, so. once again, 26th of June, if you can make it down, there's tickets on sale, there's a link there, click that link, you can buy yourself a ticket. The proceeds of that ticket are going to be going to the Guna Claw Trust. If you can't make it on the day, you can still donate as well. The other link there, click that and go to the uh, GoFundMe page and you can, you know, give to this wonderful charity yeah. that is doing great things in the community. Remember, AFTV FC, SE Dons, The oh, Wall wow. FC and also um, Hackney Wick. We're going to be filming it as well on the day, um, so some of it's going to be going out on the channel as well. So make sure you check that out. And um, yeah, come on down, have some fun, come and meet us, guys. <laughs> Watch the games. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be hardly fought. Everybody <laughs> really yeah. wants to win this, right? Yeah, so um, really, really looking forward to it. Lily, thank you very no, much for coming you. in. Thank you, thank you, thank you for right, having uh, me. I Ty, it. thank you very much thank as you, well. Bobby, thank, you. thank you to you right. guys for your, and keep supporting the Guna Claw Trust. Absolutely.